Hello Chamber members! Welcome to a tutorial highlighting how you can maximize the benefits of our website for your announcements of events, all from the comfort of your computer. First, just log on to our website and navigate over here to the Chamber tab. Come down to where it says Members Only Area. Click on that and you will be taken to your login screen. We have prepared a special logon for the purpose of this tutorial. So Jennifer has input her information with her password and we're going to log in. Once here, navigate to this area that says Features. Click on Features and come down to View Add Events. If you've never added an event through this process, it will be empty. But you're going to input all the information for your upcoming event. So click the green button that says Submit Event. And here is the information, assuming that it was Jennifer herself who uh, wants to announce an event. It says Jennifer Contact Company. She would input Lake Travis Chamber of Commerce. Uh, there's the telephone number. There's my contact information and we would input the information pertaining to this event and let's call this first tutorial and where do we want it to go to the chamber calendar the date here you would input the date that it's going to start and since today is the 26th let's make it the 28th and the event time where it's when it starts let's make it 10 a.m and it goes until noon so here you have an option you can put in noon or you can put in uh 12. i'm just going to type in noon event description here wax poetic about what is your event uh anything you want to write there the location facility, where is the um, event going to take place, and all the rest of the information, uh, if there's any cost to it, etc., you would add that down here in this section here. Now, the only difference between doing it yourself or having us do it is that the online program doesn't offer an option for inserting a graphic. If you have a graphic, a poster, a logo, something that you would like to have added, just send us the uh, logo, the graphic, that whatever you would like to have added. Make sure it is a JPEG or a PNG. Do not send a PDF and we will add it to the information that you have already submitted. Then all you need to do once you have all your information is submit event, click update and it's done and there you see it says that it's pending first tutorial starts on the 28th the number of views how many people have seen it it will be pending until we go and approve it so what happens after you have submitted your event you're going to head back to our website and return to the chamber tab Go back to the members only area, click on that. And because you have recently uh, submitted something, it will probably come up without you needing to put in your credentials. But if you need to put in your credentials, you just repeat that. Then once you're here, you're going to uh, do the same thing. Go to features, click on features. Now uh, you're going to focus on the fact that it's view rather than add, although it's the same tab. And now it's active rather than pending. A little while ago it said pending. And here you can see how many people have viewed it. Look at that. Already two people have seen our first tutorial. If you want to check the details that you submitted, you can click there. This is what anyone visiting our website will see. The blue squares indicate that there's something active going on on that date. Then just scroll down and you'll see that in September 28th, there it is, first tutorial. 
and you can click details to double check all of the information that you submitted. And that's all there is to it. In future tutorials, we'll go over some of the additional things you can do with our website. Hope this is helpful. Be sure and check back often. Bye now.